Welcome to TOL Season 10, Week 14. We got a good one here, folks. We have the Mighty Brave Crocodiles versus the Philadelphia Mickey Eagles, the Flying High. And the story coming into this game is the health of Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is... Uh, an MVP candidate when healthy, but he's had a couple stints on the injured list this year. And uh, Nick Foles has played well in his absence, but um, they are a better team with Hurts. So um, we will see what comes of it. And uh, here we go. And up oh, there he is. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Although Jalen Hurts is not a devil. He is an angel sent on high from the football gods for us mere mortal humans to enjoy his immaculate bench pressing, throwing accuracy, and everything in between. All right, so here's Crocubot with the kick to McSanders. Who's brought down. First and ten. And they call the play. After a while. <laughs> After a while. Brought down for a loss of uh, some. Oh, another one. Chubb's hand. From uh, Happy Gilmore fame. And here comes Hertz on the sweep. Brought down just short of the 20, so... Not a good drive for the birds. Here's the punt. The monster. All right, so it's now first and 10, Crocodile D. Dundee takes it from the 35. He's got a check down, but he's going deep to Gatorade. Oh, we got the flippy thing, but it works! Gatorade, oh! We had two defenders on top of him, but somehow they all got lost in the shuffle. Didn't know what happened to him. I guess they were all confused by that flippy screen. Man, I, for a second there, I thought Crocodile Dundee was gonna work his way through that uh, clog of humanity in the middle there. Wow, oh, shoot. I was about to say Robert Quinn had a great move, but Vector! Throw the flag! He crossed the plane! Give him the touchdown! Oh, and Crocodile Dundee is not able to sneak it in. He cannot do the sneak like Jalen Hurts can. They try it again. They fail again! You are not Jalen Hurts, Mr. Crocodile Dundee! Oh, they tried for a third time. So the Eagles would have gotten it in one try. But regardless, touchdown! Brave Crocodiles. And that's a pretty good start. Obviously, you can have faster starts with like a turnover or one play offense. But I actually think if you're just trying to talk about how impressive your start is, this is actually better. It's more impressive to force a team to go to three now than it is to get like one random turnover. And it's more impressive, I believe, to put together a, a drive of consistent gains up and down the field than just one you know, 50 yard touchdown. All right, so Jalen, I was just sticking up for you and Kelsey for the, the sneaks. Uh, what's going on here, pal? You're making me look bad. See, this is how you know Tecmo's not real, uh, realistic. Because the sneak works every time in the NFL for the Eagles. Anyway. All right, so fourth and 14. Go. Two three and outs from flying high. The Crocodile's defense looks strong. And, uh, so they got good field position, right about the 50. See what they do with it. Rolls out. Ooh. Dundee throws it into the stands. Trying to give away a souvenir or something. Second and 10. Boom. Robert McQuinn. We need to change that to Jalen Carter next year, Aaron, please. Dundee's got lots of time. Throws it to the speedy vector. 
All right, so flying high gets the sort of unrelenting momentum of the crocodiles under control, forces a putt. Now it's a touchback. All right, so as bad as this has been for flying high, you know, just one, uh, one nice little drive here, and, and they get the game all tied up. And there's Jalen running. Running, 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 running. First and ten. Picks up four, so it's good because I have the Philly-themed team, but I decided, oh, coughed it up. Jalen Hurts. I was going to say it looks like he's fumble in the Super Bowl, but there was actually somebody near him and hit him in this instance. Um, and Crocodile, and the Gatorade's open. The pass rush was there, though. Can he get it to him? No. He was looking for Steve Irwin. Somebody's flying through from flying high. Josh McSweat. There's Quinn flying up there. Gatorade! Oh, he was thirsty for Crocodile Dundee there. Now, first and ten from the ten. Dundee and Trill. Man. Oh, interception! James Bradbury picks it off. And here's Hurts again. Picks up four. They've got to get some kind of offense. They got AJ and Devontae. Just get the ball down the field, but there's no time. Chubb's hand is in there like a sack of stink. Third and forever, and they're going to run it with Hurts. I think their best offense play of the game was one of these Hurts runs. Ooh, again, tries to get fancy, works it through the middle, and not enough. So they will punt. The monster is loose. Man, Punter got whacked. So, obviously, excellent field position. They're already almost inside the red zone here. And Dundee rolls out, throws it to Irwin. Intercepted! Smokey McStone! No idea if that's supposed to represent somebody or not, but regardless, Smokey smokes them. Got the bottoms wide open. Oh, waited too long. Waited too long. Now second and ten. Up the middle. Gets nothing. Third and ten. Looking, looking, looking at crazy. Oh, hurts. Threads the needle. Picks up the first down. AJ McBrand. Oh, the leaping catch. Miss dive number one. Oh, putting it together. Devontae's open. McSmith. Touchdown. Fly, Eagles, fly on the road to victory. Fight, Eagles, fight. So, there we go. After all the mess that this game has been for the Eagles and the domination from the Crocs, flying high ties the game up in the only place where it really matters. And now, with all this great field position that the Crocodiles have been getting, they get terrible field. Oh, they got him! Safety! Fly, Eagles, fly! And there you have it, folks. The Bird Gang takes the lead on a safety. And they have the ball back. An opportunity to expand that lead, so... Missed opportunities might be oh way overthrown. Missed opportunities might be the name of the game here, folks. Uh, the the crocodiles had plenty of chances to 
really put themselves in a nice position to extend the lead and just couldn't deliver when they needed to. Death roll, the gator roll. R.I.P. Luke Harper. And uh, going for the punt. Takes a 30. The monster to the halfway point. All right, so uh, only a minute 23, but again, more great field position for the Crocs. Another called play for the Birds, TJ McEdwards. That should be N'Kobe Dean now, Aaron. Hit me up in the offseason. Let me, let me help you with your roster a little bit. Um, Dundee is done messing around. 56 seconds left. A field goal at the end of the half would give them the lead, so I'm sure they'd be happy there. But another call play. Smokey McStone doing it in the uh, multiple aspects of the game. Good old Smokey. So they are now forced to punt. But most likely, we're going to end up at a, with a 9-7 half. The Eagles' offense has not shown a proclivity for big plays so far. Now, when you got Devontae and uh, AJ, anything's possible, but it seems unlikely at this juncture. And now they're calling sneaks. Second and six. Hurts is running. He feels confident. Full head of steam. Full head of steam. Here we go, folks. Step out of bounds. Get the field goal. Oh. I knew those defenders were going to catch him. He needed to watch the clock and step out of bounds with like one second left. So, all right. So, Blinky Smoochie's there at the game scouting for me because, you know, I could see these teams in the playoffs. Um... The monster is loose. First and ten. Dundee. Oh, he's going to follow in Jalen Hurts' footsteps. Oh, he's going places. Crocodile. Done. D. I I think this is the only guy that can get him. Does get him, but... Woo, huge play. I think that's the biggest play of the game so far for either team. Dundee scrambling again. See, oh, Matt on the sideline. I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> First and eight. And so here's the new Crocodiles offense. Just everybody go deep and let Dundee run. Irwin, oh, incomplete. Looking for the, the hunter himself. Got the check down. The vector. Touchdown! Vector, the speed demon of the Brave Crocodiles, was once clocked with a 4 2 one, 40 time. Extra point is good, and the Crocodiles retake the lead. Deep to McSanders. All right, first and 10, do it again. McCarts with a big loss. Second and 17. Picks up five. He's now third and 12. Got to try to find A.J. Brown. Or Devontae. Oh, just overthrown. Fourth and 12. All right, defense has played well overall for flying high since that rough uh, first quarter. <coughs> So they're going to trust their defense. Again, great field position. I, uh, except for the one time that it led to a safety. Crocodile's average starting field position has been amazing today. Wow. Caught in traffic. I thought that might be an interception, but he comes down with it. 
And there's Dundee. Gang pile. That was a nice gang pile after the play. Throws it to Gatorade. Incomplete. Second and ten. Interception! James Bradbury with his second interception of the game. Wow. Dundee is getting it done with his feet. But man, some... Some poor decisions with the hands, with the arm. Picks up six, so these uh, sneaks were getting one or two before. Down there, they're getting four. Let's see, we're going for five and six. They're wearing out that interior defensive line. They're wearing it out! Boston McScott cannot come down with this one. Third and four. And there goes Hurts. Oh, across the middle. Stone hands Magoo drops it. And now the Crocodiles will once again possess the football. It'll be a touchback, so not as good as their normal starting field position today. But they've got to feel good about themselves. Diving catch by the Crocodile Hunter. This is blimey. I found myself a football right here in the grass. I didn't know that there would be a football over here. Blimey. Second and ten. Dundee. <coughs> Cannot quite get through the second row of defenders. He's got Gatorade open. Gatorade with a diving catch. Gatorade is thirsty. Just when they needed it, Gatorade delivers. Dundee across the middle, incomplete. Second and ten. Deep to Gatorade, incomplete. So a field goal here seems like humongous. Based on a lack of offense from the Eagles, so you really don't want to risk a turnover. Wow. Wow. Uh, so, Bobby, uh, if I jinxed you there, I apologize. That was not my intention. <laughs> uh, I mean, a field goal would have pushed it from five to eight points. That would have made it two scores against an offense that was struggling. That was like... I mean, I, this game was literally pre-recorded before I started doing this, and I kind of feel like guilty for somehow that I just fucked Bobby there. Sorry, Bobby. I, I, I jinxed you through a time warp somehow. All right, but anyway, uh, McHertz, McBrown, caught! First down. Picks up the blocker. Oh, throws it into traffic. So far, the difference, the only reason this game is close is interceptions. Oh! Devontae Smith. Is he going to do the Heisman pose in the end zone? Former Heisman Trophy winner Devontae Smith. Fly, Eagles, fly on the road to victory. So it's a two-point lead. The difference in the game is, in fact, that safety. And you can't help but wonder if Dundee had not taken the big risk and they'd settled for a field goal. Even with that touchdown, they would have the lead and the ball. Now they have a lot of pressure. Can Dundee reverse the negative trend? Oh, diving sack by Josh McSweat. The Crocodiles feeling... Feeling that Florida heat under the collar. It's another interceptable ball, potentially. Third and 19. They got a long way to go here, folks. Is it four down territory? You would think so, but they're pro maybe they should punt. They are. Wow. The rare punt when you're losing down with less than two minutes to go. 
overall, despite that last big play, the Crocodile's defense has been excellent today. The Gator Gummy with a nice punt. So it's first and ten. McHurts, nothing. Using those defensive timeouts. Another incomplete pass, third and ten. You really want to try to pick up this first down if you're the birds. Throwing it deep to Devontae! Oh! That would have just about iced it. Instead, they are forced to punt. They're going to give Dundee one more chance. You can see Dundee's got Irwin and Gatorade huddled up on the sideline. Vector. He's giving them some kind of rallying speech. Says this is the moments that we will always remember. And he gets immediately sacked by Robert Quinn. So the rah-rah speech does jack fucking shit for the brave crocodiles. But Gatorade being open does something for him. Can he catch it? He does! And the defender misses the dive. That's a big game up to the 50. Rolls out, got defender's face, jukes him, throws it to the alligator hunter. Intercepted! James Bradbury with his third pick of the game. Man, you know, I really thought that the Crocs were going to pull it off. What a win for uh, Flying High. Wasn't pretty. Wasn't textbook. But it was enough. Five interceptions for Dundee. Five. I mean, you can't overcome that. I mean, I guess I'd say you can't, but you almost did. But five interceptions in a game you lost by two points. Well... I hope Crocodile Dundee watches more tape this week. You got a lot to learn, Croc. That's not an offensive player. That's an offensive player. Smith!